Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speedstar here, ready to run through the next part of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. Last time, we went hunting for stamps and got a little bit of progress with plot. We got a letter from Renato and we have to deliver it to Telma personally, instead of giving it to the postman. And we're going to do just that, and... One, get away from my fangirls! Actually, I think the guide lists their names, uh, I'll put up a caption for it. Because hey! I don't remember their names. Oh, what the heck. I'll show this off at least once. Just once. Anyway, this is Fanati's palace. She's a fortune teller. What she will do is she will tell you where you need to go next if you choose one option. Or, she can tell you where a heart piece is if you choose the other option. So, if you choose career, that's for what you need to do next story related. And love, heart piece related. So you know what, I'll just do love so that way I can at least remember where a heart piece is. Read that, uh, read that backwards. I think that's a hidden message or something. Ridge of Elden. Good to know. However, we cannot get this one just yet. Soon, though. Soon we will. But there is one there. And I just wanted to show that off at least once. I don't have to show off career because uh, I know exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to enjoy it. In fact, I think, if I remember right, we're going to be going into one of my favorite areas of this game. So get excited, people. Get super excited. I uh, should probably put this slide right. By the way, you notice that takes up that empty slot there that's been empty for the entire game up until this point. Yeah, we're gonna actually get, well, maybe not exactly, but we're gonna get one more item before we go into the next dungeon so we can finally fill up all those slots there. Oh, and hey, Telma. Um, no Chateau Armani this time, because I'm kind of busy. We got a letter in some very fancy, old-fashioned stationery. Yes, yes, we know. You got the hots for him, but he doesn't have the hots for you. Get over it. Oh, well. Anyway, that at least uh, helps out with, with the situation a little bit. So, what uh, Telma knew was that the doctor, you know, the guy who uh, would not care for Rallis when he was injured? Yeah. We have to go to him next. Oh, and this, an invoice. Astronomical sum. When you know it's an astronomical sum in a Legend of Zelda game, oh man, this guy owes a lot of money. Also, you know, uh, there's... Uh, there's this. I'll have to look that up, see what that uh, says. Kind of like what I did back in the Temple of Time. Hopefully that's not gibberish or uh, the way the... The way they, uh, you know, did it with the letters. Seriously, that was dumb. I mean, that right there is actually a lot better. Because, you know, it actually says something. Anyway, we have to go see the good old duck down. Oh. Large shop in the central plaza. Oh, yeah, uh, Malomart. I might go there later, I don't know. But what I want to do is I want to head to West Clocktown because that is where the good doctor lives. Oh man, the stuff I'm going to be saying in this video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just remembering my previous recording unfortunately corrupted. It sucked so bad and it was so good to... Eh, doctor. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't like Zoras, we get it. Actually, yeah, um, uh, I think, I know it's stated somewhere in the guide, or I don't know where, or somewhere in the game, I don't know, but I, what I do know is, this guy absolutely hates Zoras. 
he absolutely hates him. He just won't do anything to him, and... Yeah, I don't want to get into that. Anyway, let's give him this. Dude, you have a big tab right here. I'm pretty sh Ooh. We're hired as some sort of heavy. Ooh. Yes, we are now Heavy Weapons Link. And this is my weapon. She weighs 150 grams and fires 200 rupee custom tool arrows at 10,000 rounds per minute. It costs 400,000 rupees to fire this weapon for 12 seconds. <laughs> uh, I had to. I just had to. Anyway... He had a wooden statue, it got stolen, we need to find it. Ooh, we're Mr. Heavy Weapons Link. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, he's gonna run back there, but if you look around... Remember what he said? He spilled medicine on it. Do you see that right there? That is medicine. What do you do with med- Well, what do you do with a box that is... One, that is dangerous. You should not do that indoors. Two, what do you do when you see a box right here that looks like it's just begging to be pushed? You push it. And by doing this, you can sniff this out, and I believe this scent is... I think it's required. I don't know. But we can forget it and learn the medicine scent. So... Now that we have the medicine scent, we can move on. You actually try to talk to the guy again. E even if you're in wolf form, he still thinks you're there. So, I'm curious about this guy. Actually, I wonder if I should have came in here while wearing the Zora armor, see what his reaction was. I don't think he gives a reaction, though. Anyway. We need to figure out where that uh, scent is coming from. I didn't want to read that. Actually, I wonder what that reads. I need to start looking at the... Are you serious? We're right back here. Oh, that guy was there. Okay. So, that was his line of sight. What? Seriously? Who else is around here who could see me? I know you can do it back here. You can do it back here. Okay, this is just wasting time. So you know what? I know where to go. But I'm just sniffing the... I, I sniff the medicine because, you know... I just have to do the thing, okay? Actually, if I come back here, I think I should be alright transforming. There we go. What's up, kitties? Anyway, I gotta get out of here and I gotta go scare people. Yes, I have to do this. And I might want to hurry up, too, because, uh, sun's setting. And, uh, actually, if you go over here, yeah, Telma's cat. This prissy feline right here, this pampered, prissy, puffy feline, almost alliteration. I don't know if there's a P word for a cat. But, you know, he had it. He, she... I forget what gender Thomas cat is. Anyway, this cat stole it, but then got attacked by skeletal dog beasts, a.k.a. Stalhounds. But anyway, we need to go find them, and we need to get the statue back. Now, note what uh, Luis or Louis... <sighs> yeah, I think it's actually Luis. Yeah. Note what the cat says. They come out at night. Coincidentally! It's sundown. So, you get the idea. I can do this right now if I wanted. Alright, I gotta let off the control stick, otherwise I'm gonna... End up... Yeah. I don't want to have that happen again. Okay, so out here we have to find where Stalhounds are. 
In fact, uh, yeah, it's sundown. They should they should be appearing right now. Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devils. Oh yeah, that was good right there. Just right there. You get all of them in one energy attack. That is the best. With that, we got a wooden statue. By the way, look at the top of it. What does that remind you of? Just what does that remind you of? Anyway, we got that done, so I'm going to warp back to Kakariko Village, and we're going to give this to Ilya. So, I will see you there. Okay, so, uh, actually, while I was doing that, I snuck into Malomart real quick and uh, bought some arrows, because I'm going to need them. I actually will. Anyway, wooden statue. Yeah, supposedly once belonged to Ilya. So we need to give this to her. Remember to target her so we can give her this. Again, note the eye on top of the statue. But thankfully, this actually does help jog her memory. Yeah. But not only that, this is gonna relate to something that we... Yep. You see there? It is a rescue mission. Although Ilya cannot remember, Gorkoron here does know about that statue. Yes, um, make note of what he, uh, is talking about. So, um, this, this place we're going to next, we could not access it until now because it was blocked by a rock slide. Yeah, I just said that. It was blocked by a rock slide long ago. But... Guess what? We actually get to have Darvis help us out. Okay. Yeah, we know where that is. It's easy... It's really easy to find. Just look for a tunnel. If you find a tunnel on the way there, you're good. And... That will do it, so I will see you there. Okay, the nearest portal there is on the Bridge of Elden, so we're gonna have to, you know, have a bit of a trek. Also, I'm gonna watch out for this guy, because, oh, that was so close. I didn't want to have to stop to kill him. Because I want to kind of hurry this up. I mean, I could probably hurry this up if I took a Pona, but... It would just take up more time. And I think I'd be faster if I just went as Wolf Link. Although I have to watch out for these guys. Although I should be alright. Anyway, right here. Right here is where you need to go. Ooh, that was so close. By the way, remember to transform when you get up here. And hurry and get in here. So we can finally head to this place. Hey, Darbus. How you doing? Oh, um, Hawkeye. And just have something in here. And yes, I remembered. I remembered to press B instead of A. That's good. Okay, um, actually, I would say that Darvish should be the heavy weapons guy, not Link. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, there's one powerful creature seen about, uh-huh. Pack of Hyenas. I've not... I don't really think they've ever mentioned something like Hyenas in Hyrule ever. And he can, he can apparently tell how many monsters are up ahead. Oh well. Anyway, we're going to take care of all of them if we want to move on. Now, nobody says here, destroy them all before they spot you. Because if they spot you, you're going to have one hell of a time. Oh, what am I saying? I'm gonna have a hell of a time anyway, but, uh, in a good way. 
Now, when I come up here, if you look at that sign there, yeah, if you look at the sign there and look at some of the other signs there, one of these signs here will say, Old Kakariko. Yeah, um, I have some choice words about that, but not right now. This is it. See them all there? Guess what? It's a Western shootout! So get this guy first. You can also shoot the barrels. But me, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it one step further. Oh, you see me? He's seen me. Boom! Headshot. Yes, that is what I'm going to be doing for this. I'm going to be trying to headshot all of them. And yes, that one counts because... Even if it was off to the side, that was still technically a headshot. Now, as I said, there's 20 in total. You gotta get all 20 of them. You can shoot the barrels and uh, that kills them too. But like I said, I'm going for all headshots here. And so far, I've got them all. In fact, uh... If I miss any, uh, any of you that are watching, count how many headshots I get, because I'd like to know. Okay, there's two guys right there. And you know, when you come here, this is pretty much, uh, stepping out of Hyrule and into a Western movie. Plus, the music really complements it, and oh man, I love it so much. So much. Again, I could shoot the barrel and actually get him, but you know what? Screw that. I want to be pro. Oh, oh, oh! What? Oh, come on! Is he gonna move back? No, he's staying right there. But that's a perfect shot right there. Oh, what? No, 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 no! That was right there. That was dead on. That was dead on. Just like that shot. How did that hit the barrel? Anyway, most of them you can find out here. A lot of them are in buildings, however. And check this out. Check this out. You can shoot through the glass and headshot the guy. Yeah, Link ain't the heavy weapons guy. He's the sniper. Because, you know, sniping's a good job, mate. Challenging work. It's out of doors. I guarantee you're not go hungry. So at the end of the day, as long as there's two people left on the planet, someone is gonna want someone dead. I think it's my soul. Yes, yes, he did. Again, I, I couldn't help it. Just the things I was hoping to say in this video, and I'm getting to say them. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Okay, come on. Alright, um, I can avoid them, and I can... Actually, I don't think there's anyone else in this building, so let's actually go in here. There shouldn't be anyone in the building. Alright. Got a better vantage point. Now, if I remember right... There's a guy in there. There's a guy in here. He doesn't notice me. So I don't think. Actually, um... Let's... Ah, right. I'm looking through the wrong window. Oh. He did see me. Okay. Little bit over. Little more. Come on. Come on, guy. Okay, maybe I have to go a little more. Now I see him. Okay, turn your head. Turn your head and boom! Headshot. Yes, I count that one as a headshot. If anyone wants to uh, look at that, go right ahead. Wait, what? What the hell? Anyway, I'm gonna break this because uh, one of these is actually a bit of a jerk. If I remember right, there should be a hole in the ceiling somewhere that one of these little bastards can uh, 
snipe you through. Oh, wait, um, there's a guy down there, too. Target him. I could target him. All right. Uh, where is he? Oh, oh, oh! I see him. I see him. I probably shouldn't need to do this, but you know, I kind of want to. Or maybe I can't. No, I don't think. Wait, wait, wait! I see him. I see him. I see him. Okay, come on. Come on! Get back in sight! I've gotten all headshots up to this point. Uh-oh, you see me? <laughs> it's just funny how my arrow just sticks right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to bail out. I'm gonna have to bail out for now. Actually, if I remember right, there's a guy right back here. So I gotta do this and sit along. He's waiting. He is waiting. So you know what? Oh! Oh! Wow! Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh! <laughs> Tell me you guys saw that. Both our arrows deflected each other. By the way, headshot. But still, did you see that? <gasps> Wait. I think I see him. I think I saw that little bugger what saw me before. Yes, I thought I did. Wait, I didn't shoot. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's slip in here. Okay. I know he comes around. Ah, there! There's the one I was thinking of before. Um, I need to get some more room. You see up there? Do you see that right up there? I don't think I can hit him from here. I can try. Nope. Again, nope. And again, nope. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to risk it here. You know what? I don't need my, uh, I don't need my Hawkeye for this one. Alright, fine. I can shoot through the barrel. Or, not the barrel, the boxes. Uh, should I, though? Yeah, I know I'm taking a little long with this. I kind of wish I wasn't. Okay, I got a little close. He's right up there. You know what? I want this guy. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna headshot him, but you know what? I'm gonna shoot him right there! What? There we go! Now I got him! Now I got him! Seriously! You know what? Turn around, dude! Turn around! Headshot! Okay, so I'm not going for all perfect, but, you know, I wanted that guy taken care of, so I'll make an exception. Now, if I remember right, the last two should be... here. Yeah, one's right there. Surprise! Okay, um, where's the last guy? Oh, there he is. There he is, I see him. And... Headshot! And that does it. Ooh, I took a little long with that one. Oh well. By the way, notice uh, that's actually a wanted poster right there, and I think that actually states that he's wanted, and the reward is a, a quadrillion rupees. I think. Anyway, this person. This person right here. We had to help this person, the only true resident of the village. Anyway, it's a good thing you did. Anyway, this is Impasse. As you, as you can tell right here, she is a descendant of Impa, and also a descendant of the Sheikah. In fact, uh, it has been theorized that this village 
the old Kakariko as it states on one of the signs here. It has been theorized that this could have been the second or the third Kakariko village to exist. Because, you know, the one that's the one that's Kakariko Village right now is right next to Death Mountain and uh, volcanic activity could have threatened the Sheikah. But there is also the fact that, uh, as you know, the Sheikah are a tribe that are supposed to serve the royal family from the shadows. So, you know, the whole ninja thing, you gotta keep your cover. Plus, uh, another theory... Not, no, not another theory. Another thing that could have come up during development of the originals was that I believe Sheik was planned to show up in this game sometime, and they even have a design for Sheik and everything, but uh, they never had Sheik introduced into the game, but they kept the design for use in the Smash Bros. games from Brawl onwards. And yeah, I was blathering on myself, but uh, I had to bring that up, because it's been a long... I've been wanting to talk about it for a while now, and I'm glad I did. Anyway, Ilya's charm. We're going to take this back to her. However, we're going to do that next time. But not only that, we're going to take care of one or two other things next time as well. So, oh, get away from those. So yeah, that will do it for this video. So, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you wish to follow along this and my other Let's Plays, click the top right box to subscribe. Any concerns come up, I'll let you guys know my Twitter. Additional info in the lower left box in the video and down in the description below. This has been Matt the Speedstar, and I'll see you guys next time when we run through the next part of Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. I wish I didn't scout references too.